For this video I've printed all of the parts using Isan Gold ABS. I'm going to remove whole original fan assembly. This will let me install the afterburner in its place. The original layer fan stopped working long time ago and it's actually cheaper to make this mod instead of buying new one. As you can already tell, there was a lot of dust inside my hotend. You can remove the hotend fan by removing those screws. The hotend fan won't be of any use to me anymore. You can put it away if you'd like to reverse this mod in the future. I will most likely repurpose it in other build. The hotend itself is being held down with two Phillips screws. I will put all of the electronics behind the X axis for now as I need to remove whole carriage. Carriage is mounted using three screws with wheels. Put everything as far from the working area as possible to avoid any unnecessary damage. Carriage plate is held only by the belts now. Remove them to get it out. My carriage plate has the hot and hose damage, so I need to print a new one. I've designed a simple carriage which will hold both hotend and afterburner shroud in place. It's not as tough as the metal one, but it works just as good. Here you can see it's already installed on my printer. It installs the same way as the metal one. On the left side I've placed a small end stop pusher which will help put the nozzle in correct position. I've installed the original hotend on my 3D printed carriage and I'm ready to install the afterburner shroud. I've removed the original ender fans so that I can install the ones required for this mod. I've used the turbine fan with top cover removed for layer cooling. You can find the exact specifications in original afterburner bomb. For the hot end I'm using 40x40 40 40 axial fan. Both fans are rated for 24 volts. Both fans will use original fan wires. I've had to route the heater cables under the extrusion to avoid collision with plastic parts. Turns out that I've made some slight miscalculations, layer cooling is a bit too high. I've already fixed that, so I just need to reprint the shroud. I've had to extend the hot end fan cables as those were way too short. I've installed the shroud but I've not yet connected the fans. I won't be using layer cooling for now as I need to fix the shroud mounting high. I've removed the cable chain as it annoyed me in the past. It worked alright but there was simply something off about it. Now I'm printing whole new carriage with fixed shroud mounting position. I've installed the new carriage and straight away you can see the improvement in layer cooling placement. Now it's placed just above the nozzle. I've connected both fans to the mainboard and now I'm able to print with layer cooling. I can test out the layer fan by enabling it on my ender screen. I've downloaded the overhang test from Thingiverse to see how well it performs. The first print is being done without the layer cooling. You can already see some issues with warping. This is the whole piece printed without the layer cooling. The quality is not very good. I've enabled the layer fan for the second print and you can already tell that it's working. 
Here you can see both pieces next to each other. The one which used layer fan looks way better. And that's how I've made a custom afterburner for my Ender 3. Thanks for watching. As always, huge thanks to my patrons.